the secret packages and passages of Jesus. There's a secret route that God takes that bypasses all of the demonic kingdom. It goes beyond all limitations and it takes you further than most people will ever go. That's why most times you can't uh, you can't let uh, too much people in your business and when you're flowing with the spirit because the spirit realm is often closed off from people's minds. They won't understand it. It'll be a mystery to them. So most times the spirit realm is closed off from them and they don't understand the flow of the spirit. So it's a mystery. But when God reveals it to you, you got to be grateful enough and protect it and be glad that he allowed you to know it. Because saints, even becoming a multi-billionaire for Jesus, it, it requires you to be very radical, very supernatural, very unusual, and very uh, mature. And maturity, it births your faithfulness. Maturity is the, um, is the Godfather of patience, productivity, and sensitivity, sensitivity to the Holy Spirit. And when you're on that route and God making you rich, he don't let you settle for foolish focuses. He don't let you settle for foolish agendas and foolish meditations. He'll correct your mind. Sowing is a mindset of the heavenly places. It graduates you from mankind to God kind. Sowing will graduate you from mankind to God kind. So you'll function in the God realm. You won't be functioning like a man. So even your finances will become immortal. And your finances will become supernatural. And your finances will become divine and when it becomes divine it has to start functioning like jesus himself when you sowing you bring in your money your financial state into the glory realm of god into the throne room of god and it has to start functioning like god himself and god is rich so the riches have to saturate your money because riches is a grace is a mantle Riches is a state of Jesus overtaking your natural life, giving you a supernatural life. And when he stick you with that type of oil, you're going to slip out of all natural living. And people are going to think that you're doing something illegal. God will make you so rich that people will think that you're a criminal, that they'll think that you're a schemer, that they'll think that you're a greedy person. Because it won't make sense to the natural man. How do you got children? How do you got issues? But now you rich. How do you have addictions and stuff that you are struggling with? Now you free. How did you not have a couple of dollars in your bank account? But now you are flowing in millionaire status. And billionaire status. <laughs> Zendaya watching me. You so cute. Zendaya just listen to what I'm saying. Look at her. She just be listening to what I'm saying. <laughs> She's just listening to me. So when you sowing, you're making your finances immortal, supernatural, and divine. And you're letting the Spirit of God take you to the next level. And the Spirit of God came to make you rich. And the grace of Jesus is backing you into sowing to take you into riches. Decree money cometh. Decree financial increase. Decree wealth when you sowing. Don't move in the seed and not have a mouth open. When you are sowing, your mouth has to work alongside your seed. 
See, saints, Jesus wants you to become alive. You a seed yourself. You got to become alive. When you start sowing, you activating you because you's a seed. So when you start sowing money seed, you sowing yourself. You activating you because you a seed as well. And he wants you to come alive. So when your sowing comes alive, that's why you come alive. Your personality come alive. Your mind come alive. Your words come alive. Your 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 uh, persona come alive. Your character come alive. Your virtue come alive. Your dominion come alive. Because you a seed. <laughs> Zendaya said amen. You a seed. So every time you sow and you, you come in alive because you use a seed as well. So you activate in all seed realms in your life. The seed of the word of God in you and the seed of you yourself. Because you become the word made flesh. See, if the word can be made flesh and dwell among you, so can your wealth become made flesh and dwell among you. It can materialize and become natural. It could be visible in your sight because if the word can be made flesh, then the wealth can be made flesh. Then the money cometh can be made flesh. Then riches can be made flesh. Prosperity can be made flesh. Harvests can be made flesh. Abundance can be made flesh. Overflow can be made flesh. My cup runneth over can be made flesh. Wealth and riches being in my house can be made flesh. The blessing overtaking me can be made flesh. Being the head and not the tail can be made flesh. The word can be made flesh. When you're sowing, you're making the word be made flesh. And it's going to dwell among you all the days of your life and you'll dwell, dwell in the house of the Lord forevermore. Psalm 23.